hi my lovely people welcome back again to another tutorial today i'll be demonstrating a number of steps to follow to fix boot device not found or no operating system found in windows 10 11 8 or 7. these error messages may differ from one computer model to the other depending on the year of manufacturing there are several possible reasons for this error and i'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide to resolve them 1. Dead or failing drive can be the cause of this problem because this is where your Windows operating system is stored. 2. Selecting the wrong boot mode for UEFI and legacy can also be a cause. 3. Wrong boot sequence or boot order. 4. Corruption of Windows files due to virus infection or hard drive bad sectors. 5. Loose connections between your drive and your computer motherboard. 6. Corrupted BIOS firmware can also be a cause. To fix this, if your computer is connected to any USB drive, unplug them as soon as possible to avoid a conflict with your boot order, which would result in your computer booting from external devices rather than the internal drive first. After, see if this suggestion was able to fix your problem. I have this Dell and HP laptop with Putin problems and we are going to fix them one after the other. First of all, let's start with the Dell. When I turn it on, I get this error message. To fix this, I'll turn it off. and turn it on again and immediately start tapping on the BIOS key combination to enter into the BIOS settings. Dell is normally F2, yours might be different. I have provided a link in the description to guide you to locate your computer BIOS key combination. After you enter into the BIOS settings, check and see if you can locate the presence of your hard drive or SSD drive. This option is not for all laptops. After. Look for the option to enable you to load default settings. You can press F9 or navigate the arrow keys to the exit tab and choose load default settings. After, save the changes or press F10 to save and exit. Now, the computer will restart and see if that was able to fix your problem. If that step did not fix the problem, then go to the boot tab and press enter and ensure your hard drive or SSD is on the top of the list. Do this for both legacy and UEFI mode. After, go to the boot list option and change either legacy to UEFI or vice versa. Now, press F10 to save the changes and exit. After, see if this suggestion was able to fix your problem. Now, let's turn the HP laptop on. As you can see, boot device not found. Now let's turn it off and turn it on again. And immediately tap the F1. Then F10 to enter into the BIOS settings. Now, move to the Configurations tab and go to Boot Options. Then Legacy Support. And change this option to Enable when disabled. And disable this option when enabled. This is done to test which mode was used to install your operating system. After, check both the UEFI boot order as well as the Legacy boot order. 
please ensure the hard drive or operating system boot manager is at the top of the list. After, press F10 to save the settings and exit. Finally, enter the 4 digits numbers and press enter to proceed. If those steps did not resolve your problem, then the next step is to check if your hard drive or SSD is recognized by your BIOS. Not all computers support this, but one of the ways may require you to have a Windows bootable USB. If you don't have one, then I would suggest you follow a step-by-step -step guide showed in any of this video. I will leave a link down in the description. So connect your bootable USB and boot into it. Wait for the installation files to load. On this window, click next and follow the on-screen guide. Here, on this window, you can see if your drive is recognized by your computer. If at this point your drive is still not showing up, then I will advise you disassemble your laptop and check for loose connections. This could happen due to some form of vibration or fall. Reattach the drive more firmly and if there are any cables attached to it, ensure it is connected properly. Replace the case. And after try to boot it up again. But if your drive gets detected by your computer and you can't still boot Windows from all the steps mentioned, then you have two options. You can either copy your important files from your drive and after do a clean Windows installation. Or just go ahead and do the installation if you have your information packed up. You can follow this video tutorial and copy your files from your broken computer. If not then, the last suggestion for this video will be to update your computer BIOS, though it comes with some form of risk, but that may be your last resort. You can follow this video tutorial on how to update your computer BIOS. I hope one of these suggestions was able to help you out. If you find value from this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Also share with anyone that might need it. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon for more video updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day.